Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Dorothy Chia Piano where I talk about all things piano teaching and piano learning. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about can I start learning piano on a 61 key keyboard? Alright, 61 keys are quite standard in the market of keyboards and most parents are quite reluctant to invest in a piano uh, when their child wants to learn uh, the instrument. Partly because in their minds they're thinking this is a heavy in investment. What if my child learns for a while and loses interest? So there are a few things that I want to point out, the pros and cons about starting uh, the piano lessons on a 61 keys keyboard. The full size piano is 88 keys. So if the child starts on a 61 keys keyboard, yes, it might look like there is no impact on the learning because uh, after all, you do have two black keys, three black keys, and you can learn all the keys of the piano on that 61 keys keyboard. However, one of the um, observations that I, I've made with students playing on 61 keys keyboard at home is that at the lesson on an 88 keys piano at the teacher's studio, um, the teacher would have taught them where is C, where is G, where is middle C, where is bass F, treble C, bass C. And then the kid goes home on their 61 keys keyboard and geographically things look very different from what was taught at the lesson. Also, very often um, a piece of music, uh, they will play it in a random register on their keyboard. And because their ears are not trained to listen to this sound being different from this sound, to them, everything sounds the same. And as long as they got the tune at the end of the day, they think that they have mastered the piece. And then when they come back to the lesson, it is very frustrating for the teacher to find that the whole piece is actually played in the wrong register. Okay, so that's one of the problems of playing and learning on a 61 keys keyboard. Secondly, um, beginning students uh, have to establish the habit of having a good hand position. So what do I mean by a good hand position? A good hand position is one where you sit nice and tall, um, your hand is roughly making an L shape, it's level, and then when they play, the fingers are rounded into the keys. Now, on an acoustic piano, it requires some effort to compress the keys as well as to transfer the weight from one finger to the other. Now, if they play with a very quiet touch floating on the surface, now because a keyboard is contact based, meaning there is an electric rod at the bottom and as long as that plastic key hits that that metal rod yeah then a sound is produced but on the piano that is not the mechanism when you press and press a key yeah there are hammer actions inside the piano that will then hit the string so a rounded handshake and then learning how to manipulate the fingers and listening to the sound right from the start is very crucial because playing the piano is not all about playing. It is 100% all about playing and 100% all about listening. And listening and tuning the ears to remember that when they play in such a way that touch is equivalent to this sound that they're getting from the instrument. Now, if they had started on the 61 key keyboard, uh, that training did not start when they took piano lessons because all they are listening to is pitch. They are not listening to the tone. They are not listening to uh, muscle memory. They are not feeling their fingers 
um, interacting with the keyboard to obtain a certain sound that is desirable and that the teacher pointed out that this is the correct sound that they should work for. Okay, so building tone, building technique is lacking when you start off on a 61 key keyboard. Point number three. Um, yes, a 61 keys keyboard is very portable. It allows you to play on your dining table, in your study room. You can take it outdoors. You can bring it along when you visit your grandma on the weekends. It is very portable. Unlike the piano, which sits on the on a part of the room and it is not movable, okay? So, besides the advantage of portability, yeah, it is cheap, okay? Cheaper. So, for those of you who would like portability because you are in a rented place or you don't have a, a permanent residence, to buy a, a long-term investment piano and put it in, in your living room or you have constraint with budget, then my advice is you rent a piano, okay? So when you rent a piano, you have a short-term investment, you are able to right away have accessibility to learning on an, a full 88 keys acoustic piano and it fits your budget because renting is definitely cheaper than buying a, a piano. So do consider what I have said. Um, in the long run, if you are considering piano lessons, whether for yourself or for your children, do invest in the instrument because it does make a big impact on your child's learning and your learning of the instrument. So till the next week, do like, subscribe and uh, check out next week's video. Bye-bye.